I'd like to go through the use of the 3 to 1 mechanical advantage system that is used with the rail system. Um, so this involves a couple pulleys. There's a lower pulley and an upper pulley. The upper pulley has also a cam cleat off the side of it that engages the rope or locks the rope in place. Um, typically we're going to have a spreader bar here on the bottom here that's going to engage or t connect to our harness through the two quick links that are hanging here. Um, however, there's an option where we can have a single carabiner hanging from the bottom of this pulley for a single point attachment into the center of the harness in case of low overhead ceiling types of situations. Um, you also notice on the end of the rope here, the distal end or uh, free end of the rope here, is a safety ropeman device that's hanging off the rope, and we'll talk about that and how that's used in the in the in, in the use of the system. Um, so, first of all, just to show you, if you once you pull down on the rope, it engages into the cam cleat, which locks it into place so it cannot come loose. Um, in order to release that cam cleat, the easiest way to do that is to grab the rope and get a little bit of slack in the rope and throw that loop with your wrist, kind of flick it up towards the ceiling, will unhook or release that cam cleat. And as soon as I pull back down, that's going to re-engage that rope. So it happens pretty simply here, but just gets a little bit of practice there with how to flip that up. That works very well as long as there's no tension on the system. We'll talk about how you um, do that same process when there's more tension on the system. Um, so we're going to go ahead and bring, we're going to go ahead and raise this up, bring it over to our patient here, just so we're high enough above their head so we don't have the spreader bar hitting their head, but we can actually then clip into the side um, shoulder hooks here, shoulder rings, um, and then we're just going to take up a little slack here as we do that. Um, if I have a patient who's in a sitting position and going to be standing, what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and grab the rope up pretty high here, so as they come to standing, I can easily and quickly take up the slack to keep the spreader bar from hitting them in the head. So I'm going to go ahead and reach up high with my right hand. We're going to lean forward, and we're going to go ahead and stand up. And as they do that, I'm just going to pull the slack out and take that up. And then once they're standing, I'm going to engage that and pull as much as I need to to give them the support they feel comfortable with and I feel is appropriate. Once they are standing, Go ahead and turn around now. I'm just going to demonstrate from the back here. We're going to take our extra rope here, and we can take our safety ropeman, just slide it up the rope. So we'll just pull that through. Once we get above here, above this pocket here, we can go ahead and take the extra rope and tuck it into our pocket. In this case, this is the balance harness, which has a pocket built into it. Some of the other harnesses have a pocket that's Velcroed onto the side of the harness, such as our unloading harness. Now I can take my carabiner that's hanging from my safety ropeman and clip it into any position. In the case of the balance harness, just easy to clip it right into the center triangular ring here and then just take up any extra slack. And now what we've done is we've created a closed loop, so there's no way that that rope can come out of the cam cleat. So, and then once we are finished with our training and want to release or lower the patient, we can go ahead and just pull out on the tab and allow some slack in the system so we can unhook that. And then we go ahead and we can take our rope out of the rope pocket. I may even give myself a little more room for the ropes, especially as they sit down, um, so that this ropeman does not end up too high and getting caught in the um, cam cleat above. So we're gonna just release that. Go ahead and turn back around. And now when we go to sit, I'm gonna go ahead and release it by flicking the rope in. Now I'm gonna then lower and go ahead and sit back down. I'm gonna feed rope into the system as they sit, keeping it out of the cam cleat so it doesn't lock back in place. And then once they've, once they've sat in place in the proper position, I can lock it back in so that the um, uh, spreader bar does not come down on the head. So go ahead and stand up again, and I'm gonna take up the slack here. Good, 